A Logandale family is counting their blessings after a recent trip here to Lee Canyon. They say their daughter was kicked in the face by a wild horse here at the Lower Lee Meadows. What is it? Hilly Wilkie is a professional photographer. She and her husband Austin brought their four kids to Lee Canyon's Lee Meadows Saturday, August 3rd to meet another family for a photo shoot session. They noticed two wild horses coming out of the woods. What is it? They tell me they were calm and appeared to be grazing near dozens of people in the meadow. Haley shot this video of her daughters. When I heard my son running up behind me, and so I had turned to go um, tell him to slow down. Then I heard hooves, and I turned around, and the horse was bucking, and Olivia had already, she was on the ground. A video that was posted on TikTok and has since been deleted showed what happened. You can see the two girls near the horse, but walking away from it, when all of a sudden the horse begins trotting fast towards them and spinning around. That's when Olivia was kicked. I saw her head was cracked open. I thought she was dead. The family says it took 45 minutes for the first responders to get there, and she was eventually flown to UMC. Her fractured skull had to be plated, and CT scans showed minor bleeding, but luckily no swelling. The family lives in rural Logandale, a place where they see domestic horses often. I mean, some people might watch this and be like, why were they so close to a wild yeah. horse? Um, what would you say to that? I think just in the moment, I thought we were okay, and that's uh, for lack of knowledge, you know. Uh, some might be wondering if there were any signs about the wild horses in the area. There are a few. They look just like this. But if you don't park near one, you might not see it. And the family says they didn't see any signs. In April, the U.S. Department of Agriculture told me they need to help in managing the wild horses because they can contribute to negative visitor impacts and unsafe interactions. At that same time, I talked to local residents who created a petition after concerns of the horses being removed. What we are asking for in this petition is that the horses remain here, but that the Forest Service also engage in a meaningful educational campaign. Olivia's family tells me she got the okay to go home Wednesday. She's gonna have a scar, but she's doing, she's back to herself. The family hopes by sharing this story, others will be more cautious around wild horses. They know how lucky they are. Reporting at Lee Canyon, I'm Jim Mulder.